Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here and welcome to Punch Club, The Dark Fist. Uh, this game came out, I think, earlier on this year, if I remember correctly, and I didn't play it. I can't remember why. I don't know why I didn't play it, but uh, that was a big thing then. But this is now on the Steam Summer Sale, and I think you can see a running theme between this video and the last one that... Uh, I'm kind of just playing games that are on sale at the moment. Uh, and that's kind of really it, because I, I never played this game, so I want to kind of give it a go now. I don't know much about it, so I really don't know what I'm in for. It has this really cool retro feel to it, though, and there's this really nice soundtrack going on, which I kind of like. Also, I discovered this just before I recorded. There is a retro effect. As far as I can tell, this reduces the color down to, I think, 16-bit and adds the uh, pixel grid. So if that's something you're looking for, it has it. Uh, but I'm not really looking for that, so um, let's get on with it. Uh, this has Twitch integration, so I feel like I might stream this at some point just for the hell of it. If you want to see that, let me know down in the comments below if you want to see a stream of this game. I don't know what the Twitch integration does. But if you want to find out, then yeah, let me know. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so this is a character that I started earlier on today just to give this a test. Uh, and he's called Butt Stuff because I'm a really creative person. But we're going to start with a new character. I want to see what's what. Alright. Uh, I think we're going to call this... Butts. I'm really good at coming up with names. Okay, so... Just before I hit the skip button, just a bit of background, that's your father there, that's you and your twin brother. At least I think he's a twin. I, I, I don't really know. But, long story short, dad gets killed and then you are adopted by the policeman. So it's kind of the Batman story, really. There you go. This guy, I think, is going to be an important character in the story. But aside from that... That's really all I know. Anyway, let's skip and let's move on. Alright, so, uh... Let's answer the phone. There we go. Hello. Okay, so Frank is the policeman that takes you in as his own son. Uh, or, you know, he's your adopted parent after this whole incident. And, uh... Yeah, he looks after you. So, let's just get on with it. Uh, I think we're gonna go train... Right, so this is how we train. It's a bit like sort of game dev tycoon, game dev story kind of games where you have your different attributes and they create the little bubbles that go up. And you have all you need, so you need to go and eat. It even tells you which percentage is that. I think if it's below 20% or something, you need to go and eat. Something like that. Alright, so we've got soda and frozen pizza. Kind of looks like my own fridge. Uh, so, I guess let's just drink the soda. Why not? Doesn't give us much, but it should give us enough. Oh, look, there's a llama lamp there. Okay, so we can go and work. Yeah, let's go there by foot. Oh! We even counted thugs. Uh, yeah, sure, take my shoes too. Uh, you know what, Let, let's fight these guys. Alright, so we have to fill in the slots to... Oh, that's over here. Okay. Oh. I might have... This might be a mistake. I've just looked at his stats. Yeah, um, he's a lot stronger than we are. Well, let's kick him. Do we have any other abilities? I think we just got dodge, don't we? Alright, so let's kick and dodge. Yeah, this is gonna go well. Oh, okay, so it's kind of football manager style. Ow, that was a huge hit. And we're just flailing about at the moment. Not really doing much damage to him. And we've been knocked out. So I kind of feel like that was an unwinnable fight. Yeah. I should train harder. I should, that's advice for life. <laughs> I saw you fight, that was impressive. You got your ass handed to you. Uh, okay, so the first set of choices. By the way, that dialogue-driven 
choices in this game, and they do affect the actual gameplay, as far as I can tell. So, this is the first choice we have. I think we're going to go with... I've always had a pretty great right hook. It's like, hey, you've got really strong arms. There we go, strong arms! Yes, you've always helped your mom carry the groceries home, so your arms are really strong. Yeah. I do carry the groceries. Alright, so now we got to visit the store here. There's a lot, it's, it's basically a management game, in case you're wondering, or haven't figured it out by now. It is. Alright, so this guy is basically the Mr. Miyagi of this game. And he's going to train us and teach us all sorts of things. So, we've got a new goal now. We're going to go to the gym. And, oh, that's, yeah. So, if we run out of money, we can come and talk to him and, and uh, we can get free food. It's always nice. Alright, let's just visit the store now. So, let's talk to Apu. Tell him about the meat delivery. And there we go. We can also shop here and buy stuff. Let's buy some meat. That'll come in handy later. Okay. Uh, yeah, straight to the gym. Why not? We're going to walk everywhere. We're going to save the money. I've just noticed we go everywhere shirtless, pretty much, I think. Or at least he puts on a shirt when he goes out and then he just comes into the gym and takes his shirt off for whatever reason. Alright, so we got to place fifth in the rookie league. Uh, yeah, sure, let's bar with him. Why not? Uh, we only have the kicking abilities at the moment. So, uh, I feel like we're going to lose this. I mean, it's just a training match, but uh, yeah, I, I don't think we're going to do that well. Barely doing any damage. Yeah, so that's the first round over, and I'm um, kind of having my ass handed to me already. Alright, go in for the kick. Come on, kick him more. It looks like he blocks. Oh yeah, he does do block. But he still takes damage when he blocks as well, so... I mean, we, we might be able to wear him down. Uh, these are the stamina bars here as well, so it's kind of... Works basically like mana. And these are the abilities, of course. If that makes sense. I have noticed as well, when your energy reaches zero, you can be knocked off your feet. So, there are different things that happen depending on the, the different stamina levels of the, um... Or different energy levels of each character. And it happens to your opponents as well, of course. If you get knocked off your feet, you do take more damage. Yeah, I might have played a little bit more of this than I let on initially. Yeah, we definitely lost that. We took a bit of hit to our vitality, but you know what? We we got our mood back up. So, you know, that's that's good. Yeah, not bad. We're out of shape. Alright, so we can go and train. And there we go. We've got leagues available as well. We can sign up for that one. And see how we do. Let's go into the gym. Yeah, let's pay the entry fee. Why not? Okay, so there's a bunch of things we can train here. I don't know quite what to train first. Uh, you know what? Let, let's go to the weights. Why not? Could actually train our strength up, I think. Yeah, that's definitely strength. So this seems to do only strength. Yeah. And of course, it does cost food and energy. Which sort of makes sense. I mean, if you train... Oh, we're, we're getting less. So if you do the same thing too much, then you do gain less from it. Alright, let's do some dips. I think that's what you call that. Weighted dips. Any any fitness people in the comments, let me know what that is actually called. Is it... I believe it's called weighted dips, but... Yeah, let me know. Uh, right, so I think that's all we can do since we're still... We're hungry now. Let's go back. Uh, I think we can go home now. Yeah, let's go on foot. We're pretty short on cash now. 
Uh, let's go and eat. I think we're going to eat the uh, meat this time around. Because that gives us a lot more. And we can just go into the garage and train. I've just noticed, this is the, this is the A-Team van. Right here. So that's kind of cool. It's a lot of retro references and things all over the place. Um, which is pretty cool. Let's train as much as we can here. Because I don't think we can really do much else. Oh, and at the end of every day, you lose a lot of your skill points. So, um, it's kind of one of those things where you have to keep training constantly, which I, I don't know if it's entirely realistic. Again, any fitness buffs or anything, let me know down in the comments. Because, as far as I know, if you don't train for a day, uh, you shouldn't lose that much. Like, I think break days are genuinely a thing. But let me know what you think. Um, would you lose this much every time? Or is this just something for the game's sake? Right, so we're just gonna... Okay, we're not getting as much from that anymore. So I don't know what else we can do now. It's up to the second day. I, I think we can go... Yeah, we can go to work. Let's go and do that. Get some money. Oh, we're a construction worker here. Alright. So we get $50 for that. Uh, every time we complete it. And we do get some skill points out of it, too. So, I mean, it's not entirely wasted as well. I wonder if we can get a second one. No? Okay. Alright, let's go home now. Uh, Alright, we're going to need to eat. This is weird. you got to eat before you sleep. Uh, he doesn't... Oh, you'll see this. So, so basically, we're going to rest up and get our energy back. But you see, your food goes down. And we've lost quite a significant amount of skill already. So, uh, this isn't good. And you see, he wakes up because he's hungry. I get that, like, I wake up because I'm hungry, but... I mean... You know what? Okay, it kind of makes sense. I don't know. Alright, we're out of food. Uh, today's the day of the fight. But as far as I can tell... You can take this fight at any time of the day. So we still have the whole day to train. So let's make use of that. And go to the gym. Oh, there by foot. It's not really that far away. I'm going to spend a little bit of money to go and train up. Uh, you know what? Let's do this one over here. I don't even remember what this is called. Somebody let me know. I, I don't know what this exercise is called. I don't do exercise. I have no idea what they're called. So, this we're training stamina and strength. So, alright, now we're not getting as much out of that. Let's go over to this one. Just, oh, we're hungry now. Okay. This is a vending machine over here. You can get a bit of replenishment, but that's really expensive. So, let's just get that protein bar. Get a little bit more out. Uh, let's do the tire thing over here. So, swinging the hammer gets you a little bit of everything. I think it's mostly random. Like, I know the punching bag seems to get you a little bit of everything as well, but they seem to be at different rates. Okay, you know what? We're going to go with one more protein bar. And of course, anybody that's already played this game is probably screaming at me now. Alright, so let's just do this. Get a little bit of that. Go back to bench press. I do want to kind of just get that little bit more of um, strength, but I don't think it's going to happen today. So we've got three, one, and two. Right. I think it's time to go and take on this fight. All right. So we're taking on somebody who's level one across the board. His name is Song Mo. I feel like he should be doing boxing commentary. That sort of thing. Like, in the red corner. Or something like that, you know. Uh, I feel like he should be doing that. Uh, so, we don't have any other skills available, so we're just going to be kicking him. Yeah. And he's got punches and blocks, so one way or another, if we land a hit, we're still going to damage him. Right, here we go. And uh, he goes in for a punch. Kick, missing. I think, um, it almost seems like if you... I don't know if you need to have the dodge skill there in order to actually like 
uh, get the chance to dodge. Because he seems to be able to dodge without having it selected. Unless, of course, that just means... Um, my Maybe it's my accuracy is really shite, and that's probably what's actually happening. Right. Okay, so, uh... Come on, kick him to death. Kick his face in. Come on. Kick him. There we go, that's a good one. And the combo. Again, kick him. Oh, he blocked that one. Kick him again. Kick him again. There we go. It's a good hit for four damage, though. I mean, clearly the strength is working. Kick him again. Just keep kicking him. That's all he can do. Oh, God. It's already the ra uh, third round. Alright, here we go. Come on. Kick him. Oh, we're really doing a lot of damage here now. Come on, just kick his teeth in. Come on. The crowd seems ecstatic about this. There's just two guys standing there just sort of like throw trading blows constantly. It's like, imagine there being a crowd watching, I don't know, WoW. Where, you know, when you're in... You know when you're in combat in WoW? Oh god, I've just been knocked off my feet. <laughs> but yeah, it's basically just two of them standing there kicking each other's shins until one of them falls over. It's kind of like that. That's the vibe I'm getting from this now. Uh, I have absolutely zero control over this, by the way. It's all entirely stats and RNG. So <laughs> I have absolutely no control over this. Come on, I've been knocked off my feet twice. Just kick his face in. Oh, really? He's got two HP left. Come on, finish him. It's like Mortal Kombat. Just finish him. There we go. Oh, no fatality? Oh, that's a shame. Right. So our accuracy is pretty bad. I would say. Yeah. 50% accuracy. Not that good. Uh, but we won that one. Oh, we've got skill points. Right, so this is the skill tree. Uh, the basic skills are up here, and then you've got all the different fighting styles here as well. Um, kind of want to get punch. I'm going to get that and replace our kicking ability with it, because I feel like that's going to be more useful for us. And um, let's go with tactics. Yeah, why not? So that's our skill point. So this tactics thing is a passive ability, whereas this is one of the skills that we can unlock. And uh, that leads to all of these things. So we've got uppercuts and high punch. This would be good. doesn't require too much agility, so its accuracy is definitely going to be very high. Alright, so let's have a look at our character again. So our perks here, we've got strong arms and we've got tactic so yeah I think this will be good but uh, I'm gonna leave that one there because I mean that's the first match and uh, if you want to see more of this don't forget to let me know down in the comments and uh, don't forget to leave a like if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel my name is Panzer thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time